Okay, so I'm just going to open up a random picture that I have, and I'll show you. So on editing days, I'll use this time to explain this. So on editing days, you actually want to try to work with pictures that are not very good. Okay, you want to find pictures that need to be edited. Okay, so I might look for a picture that's not bad, but could use a little work. All right, so here's a little picture of a bird. He's right smack center. So I'm just going to start by cropping him a bit. And that's just a review of what I showed last week. I'd probably try to crop out as much of that wire as I can. See how I get those rule thirds lines and I can crop them to a line a third? Okay, now I still got this little wire here. I might actually crop this a little bit more and I'm still rule of thirds and I cropped as much of that wire out. I can't crop this out. And I blurred the background, but it's right next to him. So when we get to depth of field, I can't even really blur this out. So I'm going to clone it out. And that's what I'm going to show today. Right here is my clone tool. So I'm going to click on the clone stamp. Now, when you click on any of these tools on the left side, notice it brings up all the properties for that tool. So I can adjust the size of that clone tool, make it bigger, make it smaller. I probably want it about that size. The hardness puts a feathered edge or not. If I bring the hardness to zero, it's going to give me a feathered edge. If I bring the hardness up to 100%, that's going to give me a hard, sharp tool edge, which I don't normally want. I usually want a nice feathered edge, unless I'm trying to get really tight in on a spot, which I might need down here right at his tail. So once I have clone tool selected, my tool size and hardness adjusted, what I'm going to do now, the clone tool copies pixels. It clones pixels. So I'm going to take pixels from one area, copy them over top another area, and I'm going to mask out that distraction. So I'm going to hold option. See how option turns that into a, makes a little target? So I'm going to hold option. I'm going to click here because these are the pixels I want to clone over top of here. So I'm going to hold option and click and let go of option. Now I'm going to come over here and see I can just click and drag over that area and make that go away. Now I got to be careful. See the crosshairs on the right hand side? I got to, that's what I'm cloning over top of this clothesline. So if I go over here, Oh, now I just made a mistake. And kids will do that, and that's how they get into a bad spot. See what I did there? So now I have to retarget. Option, I'm going to target down here and clone over that. And one bit of advice I give kids is to zoom in as close as you can. So that way you're getting as close to those pixels as, as you can get. And here I'm going to clone over top of that. And right here. Now, as I get close to his tail feathers, since I have such a feathered edge, no pun intended, but see how I'm, I'm almost masking over top of that. I'm going to go Command Z to undo that. And now I'm going to make my edge harder, a little bit harder. A hard edge allows you to get closer, in tighter. And I'm also then going to reduce the size of this a little bit. Retarget. So I can get in there really close. And make it look really cool. Oops. See that little smudge? That's because I targeted too far away. So I go Command Z to undo that. I want to try to get as close as I can to what I'm um, cloning. There we go. And then up top here. See how with that harder edge now I can get in closer. Now up top here I'm probably going to have to reduce the size of my reduce the tool size just a little bit to get in tight here.
and it's gone. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll just zoom out and just give it a quick check. And I'll usually here ask somebody who hasn't been watching me to look at it and say, hey, what do you think of that? Okay. Now, one very handy dandy tool to go with this. Right here, I go to window history. If you get in, if you go down a bad road when you clone, I can always jump back with this history tool to any point in that in my editing state. All the way up to wherever I started messing up. I can go back to the beginning. Okay, so that history palette when you're cloning becomes very important. I could probably clone this out as well. This little spot right here. And I'm going to go with a feathered edge on this one because I want I want to blend that in. So option clone. Oops. Option clone that out. And it just takes a little time and attention. Zoom back out, see what it looks like. Okay. Any questions? So that's cloning, which is masking.